Oh yeah, I just wanna, mm, and I just wanna. Oh hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the Scienceverse Show. I'm your host, Darian Wynn. So, uh, did you hear about the beef with regular meat? <clears throat> there have always been issues on ethicality and sustainability. Some people don't eat meat as they're concerned about health issues, some are worried about the environmental impact of meat production, and a lot are worried about the animal's welfare. Can you stomach that? Can I stomach that? Maybe it's time for me to make a switch. So I asked you guys, do you think I can tell the difference between real meat and alternative meat? And here's what you guys voted. 64% of y'all voted, oh yeah. And then 36% voted, oh no. I'm gonna be honest, I have really bad taste buds and I don't think I'm gonna be able to tell a difference. So. <laughs> All right, so I have three different burgers and my job right now is to try to guess which is real meat. But of course, my biggest question with any type of meat is, how long is it? Is it gonna taste good? It <laughs> All right, it's patty time. And then we got this mite. To be honest, it looks a little spongy. This is really tough, I don't know, I really don't know. Just based off of looks, this, this one looks like real meat. And also, this burger weighs a little heavier. Hmm. They kind of taste the same now. Okay, this this meat looks inconsistent texture-wise, similar to this one. It's so bland, like, there's no flavor. I'd rather eat poodle shit. Watch, this is the real meat. I'm gonna be so mad if this was real meat. I don't know. Okay, so it's, uh, I wanna say it's this one. I think this is the real meat. I am locking in my answers. This is the real meat. Yeah? You've just won a million pounds! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, woo! I just wanted to win. I just wanted to be right. Here's what you guys had to say on alternative meats. Impossible, 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 impossible. Someone says Satan? I think you mean Satan, S-E-I-T-A-N. There's so many brands out there, but there are mainly two alternative meats, cell-based and plant-based. Cell-based meat or cultured meat at its peak can look like this. And that's pretty amazing. Has science gone too far? Well, these meats start from an itty bitty tiny stem cell from an animal, place them in a petri dish, and then bam, they're cultured and then grown inside of a lab. This means we don't need to put animals through cruel farming practices, small confined farms. It must be better for the animals, right? No! All cell-based food requires a serum called FBS, or fetal bovine serum a mixture harvested from the blood of fetuses excised from pregnant cows slaughtered in the dairy or meat industries. Now, FBS contains a cocktail of proteins that make it ideally suited for helping all kinds of animal cells grow and duplicate. A cocktail made out of baby cow juice? Is it then really so cruelty-free? Well, you tell me. Some companies are already looking for replacements for FBS. On the other hand, we have plant-based meats. Almost every plant-based meat has different ingredients, but for the most part, they're made of extracted plant protein or whey protein, spices, and binding ingredients. Sounds healthy, right? Some people are saying that it's so highly processed that it's honestly no healthier than real meat. Dang! But do you know what really makes this look and taste like real meat? Blood! Blood! No. Here, my friends, I introduce you to him. Okay, <laughs> who is him? Ugh. <laughs> Well, heme comes from something that we all have, hemoglobin in our blood. This tiny little molecule is what makes meat taste like meat. Impossible Burger here made plant-based heme using genetically modified yeast or genetically modified organisms. Yes, GMOs. So, next time you eat a thick and juicy Impossible Burger, you know where it's from. 
Now, more than ever, the steaks, steaks, get it, because meat. So the steaks are high to find a way to satisfy the world's meat cravings in a way that's ethically and environmentally sound. So, what do you think? Is it healthier? Cruelty-free? Sustainable? What exactly are you buying? Hit the comments and share your thoughts down below. I'm Darian Wynn, and this is a Science First Show.